Hello, and I am Brian Foster, and welcome to my vlog. Today we're going to talk about another communication from a spirit. This is a special message from the spirit Dr. Becerra de Menendez, who was known as one of the first persons to really start spiritism after Ellen Kardec in Brazil. It is a message that was given to or through, I should say, the medium Devaldo Franco on March 16th, 2020. But before I begin, please subscribe to this channel, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, and please share this video if you like. We'd like to spread more and more information about the spirit world and our place within it to other people throughout the earth. So let me start. Jesus, my children, is the Venus and the dear of our speculations. We have never been in greater need of this beloved shepherd, and never has humanity shown so much love as in these days. The love of nature, in its most varied expressions, in this love for nature, for everything that lives and vibrates in nature, are brothers on the biological scale. Furthermore, our enemies, our friends and brothers, there has never been such a beautiful and noble awareness of Jesus' sayings because it did not leave us alone. It allowed the luminous stars to fall from the heavens on earth in the post-French Revolution darkness that would stimulate the world to songs of freedom throughout the Americas, breaking the chains of colonialism that humanity still somehow imposes on needy society. At no time was Jesus so exalted, so striven for, and that deserves our reflection. So let me stop there for a minute. So I know the title of this is, We'll Understand the Reason for the Pandemic After the Fact, and that will start in the next paragraph. But what Dr. Bezeros de Menendez is telling us here is that in our time of transition from a planet of atonement, where we are now, where we are paying for our past wrongs, to a planet of regenerations, we are going through certain stimuli pandemics, earthquakes, whatever, stimuli to help move the whole human collective forward to a higher period, to a, a more higher vibrational awareness and harmony within ourselves. And this involves a lot of, of you know, worrisome for a lot of people because the, the spirits who will not accept the need to become a better person, a better spirit, meaning full of love, charity, fraternity, honesty, are resisting this move to, to be a better planet. Now, when, when he says that in the post-French Revolution darkness, and he, he talks about breaking the chains of, coloni of colonialism, I should say, so what the spirit world never wanted for Europe to be a colonial power, and in fact, that's probably one of the reasons why World War One and World War Two was created to fully, absolutely, and this is what the prophet, uh, I'm sorry, the spirit Emmanuel said in his book, On the Way to the Light, is they would just take the power of Europe away. That, that would, they'd be no longer really a power in the world after two world wars. And a lot of that was in, in payment for their colonialism and how they treated other people. If, if you want to go back a bit, it's also the spirit world encouraged the Roman Empire. They wanted them to be a city as a, you know a beacon of light and knowledge, the same way it was Europe. They wanted to to promote you know scientific uh, investigations and discoveries. They did not want them to try and take over large parts of the world. Now let's get to the next part. Now this is interesting, and this tells me a lot that I. I'm, I'm surprised at. Let us exult and not fear. Death is not the end. It is the great liberator of carnal slavery. Do not worry too much about the pandemic presence of the virus, whose moment will later be understood in its reasons, in its origins, and why it has now reached us causing panic and pain. So let me stop there for a second. Spiritism tells us when we die, you don't worry about that because you just you just get rid of this dense body. You are an immortal soul. 
and I know this was one of my fears before I discovered spiritism, is that when I die, I'll be somehow different. I, I'd lose myself. Well, you don't lose yourself. You are who you are when you die, which is good and bad. If you were a criminal or a pickpocket and you had that type of attitude, you don't become this wonderful angel. You're still that same person. If you're a nice person in life, you're a nice person when you go into the spirit world. Therefore, do not worry so much about the transition. And in fact, life is much better for many of us in the heavenly realm. Then he says about the virus, right? The pandemic, whose moment will later be understood in its reasons and its origins. So, well, I will revisit this later and we'll talk about this because, you know, there's, there's many reasons. They've talked to us in previous messages that I put on this channel where part of it was to bring us together and make us less materialistic and think about our spiritual side some more. But with anything with the spirit world, what they do is multifaceted. There's always reasons upon reasons and there's, and there's many different things that are happening here. And I'm sure a lot of it's beyond my understanding, but we can think about that later. Once you realize the spirit world really does guide the human race in so many little machinations and manipulations it is quite fantastic. Let me carry on. You who know Jesus maintain respect for the laws, seeking the precautions recommended by the health authorities, but do not hide the helping hand from the sufferers. Do not deny the word of liberation to those who are preparing to face immortality. Do not leave where you were placed in a useless and deceptive attempt to prevent contamination. Let me stop there for a second. He's telling us, Jesus said, you know, render unto Caesars what is to Caesars. He, we're being told the same. You know, if the law says wear a mask from outside, wear a mask. But, at, at you know, in the next sentence or so, he says, hey, yeah, don't leave the place where you're quarantined, but it's useless. It really is not doing anything to prevent contamination which is very interesting, you know, because I, you know, there's so many different statistical studies and it's, real, you know, it's hard to know who to believe or not believe. And some, you know, I've read somewhere statisticians are telling us it doesn't make a difference if you're isolated or not. It, the virus tracks through the population in the same type of curve. Well, I, I should probably read those some more because this is what he's telling us. It says, oh, it's useless, it's useless and deceptive it won't prevent contamination this goes everywhere and it's said before us this virus goes everywhere across all borders and other messages and it means it now other messages also told us that the more spiritually pure you are the more likely you will be fine from the virus okay let me carry on. Seek intimate purity and above all, nourish yourself with dynamic, courageous, and gentle faith, loving everyone, avoiding the passions that divide and the experiences that unite. Today, perhaps more than ever, Jesus needs your hands to speak through your lips, to feel the warmth of your compassion and the mercy of your feelings. The great antidote to all ills is responsible love, dynamic love, love that gives and is not concerned with receiving, even the smile of the beneficiary. So, again, this is message told us another one says, do not panic, don't let, don't let all these news organizations with their clickbait tell you that the world is going to end and that if you go outside of your house, you're going to be infected and that you will, you know, you'll die immediately. No. In fact, he even tells us this is, this is not helping any. And I know many people get very upset when they see other people not with masks or anything like that on. And, but again, we've also seen studies saying that people even in lockdown and, quarant and in their homes, they get the, they get the disease too. So, and, it's, and of course, the mortality rate isn't that great. But we're being told on many levels Keep a good attitude. Help the people who need to be helped. Don't worry about helping people. Do the help that you can. You know, pay attention to the laws. You know, you should, even though you don't think they're right, you should, you know, conform to the laws of your state or locality. But even at the time, but keep a positive attitude. 
I'll carry on. Do not think that you are alone. The heavens send their ambassadors so that the exchange between the incarnated and the discarnated is much easier. Take care that your mental waves are synchronized with the minds that manage lives and avoid descending your thoughts to the pages of agony where the outrageous forces that are producing pain due to the planet's evolution are to be found. Again, this is all about Spirits that are in the lower zone or the umbrella, that means those who are not in heaven, and then below that, which is a type of purgatory, they call it the, the dark abyss. Those forces of, of spirits who are not advanced, they are immature and ignorant, they do not want the planet to go to, from a planet of atonement to a planet of regeneration. Why? Because when we, the earth becomes a planet of regeneration, those spirits who have not accepted the light, who have not accepted the fact that you must be kind and generous and charitable, they will have to go to another planet. They will be taken off this planet. They'll be exiled and put into a, a primitive or a, a, another planet of atonement. That is why we have so many forces fighting us, and those forces are incarnate and discarnate. And the incarnated forces are probably being influenced by the spirit forces of the ones that are underdeveloped. Go, as Jesus said to the 500 of Galilee, and preach by example, by the enlightened word, and by the example of self-denial. The living forces of the universe are with us in sweet exchange with you. Go and love. In the name of the spirit of spirits, we plead, O Lord, to bless us and keep us in peace. Those are the vows of the humble and paternal servants. And of course, the medium is Devaldo Franco. This was, this was done in Brazil, and the spirit was Dr. Pizarro de Menenzis. So I, I want to thank everyone for listening uh, to me in this video. If you would like to learn more about how we are and how did we get here, what is Spiritism all, is all about, I recommend first you can read the spirits book it's in pdf it's free i also have my book uh spiritism 101 the third revelation you go to my site nwspiritism.com you go on the right hand side if you you know that's i have that in paperback i have it in kindle and i also have it in pdf you can download the pdf for free on kindle it's like 99 cents which is as cheap as i can make it so those are all free. If you want to read more, I have many books on my right-hand side. And I also have, I would recommend uh, The Seven Tenets of Spiritism, How They Guide Your Daily Life. So you get an idea of how I went through and how I found Spiritism and how it helped me. But I have other books. And also you can find other books by Alan Kardec um, on Amazon. And you can also look up Alan Kardec uh, space PDF and find his books for free. It's very interesting. There's a lot in there, and it talks about reincarnation and karma and how we're immortal souls. And I think the more you understand the spirit world and why we're on earth and why the spirits, just like Dr. Bezeros de Menenzis, is talking to us, you'll understand your own trials and tribulations. God bless.